Welcome, this is Spotlight. And I'm just excited about this new ministry and the hope that it's a little blessing. It's not a full sermon, it's not just a minute, it's just a little something to give you something to think about, especially this new year. And as I've been thinking in my own soul about being, what does it mean to be a fully devoted, radical disciple of Jesus? I keep coming back to learning to hear the voice of God. Yes, you can, you can read the Bible, and that's absolutely central. And they will say you can know what God wants you to do maybe 50 to 70% of the time just by reading the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. But the Bible 2,000 years ago, and there are things and choices that we have to make today that are, that are not covered directly in the Bible. And we need to hear the voice of God. And he says, if you'll trust in me, he will direct all of our paths. Nobody hears voices. <laughs> when people say, God told me, I said, did you hear something? No, it's, it's impressions. It's a still small voice. So my favorite story on this is C.S. Lewis. And I just uh, came across this as I'm remodeling my office. Here it was, little little pamphlet about this. So C.S. Lewis had to give a sermon on Sunday. And so he thought I should get a haircut on Saturday so he'd look right for the sermon. But the last uh, minute, he got a phone call and he said uh, the situation was canceled. So don't need to speak, don't need to get a haircut. But he thought, was, go ahead anyway. So he had to ride a streetcar, he had to ride a bus, and then he walked in the door of the barber shop. And the barber looked up and he said, I was praying that you would come today. Wow. I've had that happen a few times. Where you walk into someone's house and they say, Pastor Dan, I was praying you would come. How to learn to pick out the voice of God from all the voices and impressions that we get. All I can tell you is that we learn. I do mission trips and I do mission projects. I get hundreds, maybe, maybe thousands of mission project requests. After I've been in a place for about a week and they know I'm leaving in a couple days, I begin to get envelopes. You know if I get a white envelope, I'm getting a request to go to someone's church and, and try to help them build that church. I can't do them all. How can I explain those projects which somehow get through and through that filter to say I can't do them all? That's mine. Somehow I know that's what God wants grace force to do. And it, it's in our brand. It's kind of in what we are gifted and called to do. It's this church. It's this school. And I just have to trust God that he has someone else for those other projects. But all I can say is, is that as I have learned that that's, something begins to burn in my soul for that project, every one of those projects has gotten done. If God calls me to do it, he will find the money and send it to me one way or the other. And that church is there, and that school is there, whatever it is. So I just want to encourage you as you're wanting to be closer to God this year, the new year, to be more vigilant about learning to hear the voice of God. Turn off, turn off the radio in the car. Turn off the video games and just be still so that you can pick out the voice. Sometimes that happens to me in the shower. Or early in the morning when I'm not sleeping and you're quiet and, and you're here from God. And i got to get up and write it down. That, okay, don't lose that. And may you learn to pick out the voice of God. The Bible says we'll follow the Lamb wherever He goes. We want to be radical disciples of Jesus. And that means hearing the voice of God. This is Spotlight. Thanks for being with us. God bless.